As Belizeans, you often look for that unique gift when visiting another country that speaks to its cultural heritage. It is the same for visitors to the Jewel, and the best of the best is almost always found in remote, culturally rich villages across the country, and rarely in stores. A recent project to provide digital literacy to artisans across the country, however, means these unique products can now be found on social media platforms, namely Instagram and Facebook. We thought, how do we get people onto socials, onto the information that's out there? Because if there's one thing we know, we're living in a digital age and we're seeing ministries, we're seeing all of our government up there's press office, it's all on social media. So we gave out last year free Facebook sign-up, free website design. We have wonderful, wonderful partnership with the Taiwan Technical Mission in Belize, with the Republic of China, Taiwan, and with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. And um, we looked at where a lot of our women's group and cooperatives are, especially in the cultural and creative industry. We are anthropologists and archaeologists. We work with communities, we work with cultural groups. And we realized that a lot of them were still not on Facebook. So we said, getting people onto the digital world is how they are able to access information, but more importantly, how they have agency. That agency and access helps with the preservation of the intangible cultural heritage of various cultures across the country, like the women from San Antonio Village in the Cayo District, who for decades have been making pottery, reviving an ancient art in danger of being lost. These artisans are now able to share their creations online and connect with potential customers. In the beginning, we were just finding out what, what we can make as women to help ourselves. Um, finally, with this, we learned that culture preserving is very important because they're, we're losing a lot of it. Um, it can help us in empower women as well by um, bringing back what was lost. For example, the pottery, it's something that is very well known in the Mayan history, unfortunately lost, so we're trying to revive this kind of art. We were all housewives involved in the project, and we were not prepared with using you know, phones. And 20 years back, it was not very popular using phones um, or computers, so this was one of our challenges. And we were, we were um, not very skillful in using computers. Um, finally, with this training, they were. It was like a training exactly for us because they were teaching us, but at the same time, we were practicing and doing what we were being taught to make. In the Belize district, Shakira Welcome works along with her grandmother in Crooked Tree to create amazing handmade woven baskets. For Welcome Handmade Baskets, establishing an online presence is a first step that might even lead to a shop in the future. It has been long, long enough. Long enough we've been making them. Who do you sell to? Um, we have hotel owners, um, just tourist places, I guess. This helps us to um, promote our business on different platforms. And also, um, we want to open um, a business like a gift shop or something, you know, to impact you know other people you know even Belize it is good to um share our talents in Belize you know and um it is very um like culture, culture. So I guess about culture like Creole culture um these are very long lasting while the project specifically targeted women there were both young men also involved in the program the Oshmulka agro-processors youth group slogan is about telling a story through embroidery like now that we're in a technology era, you know, now uh, during the pandemic as well, so the best way to promote like products, you know, that the, the uh, group has is through technology, you know. If we can reach people like in us, in like by person, person to person, now we would have a bigger audience if we do it digitally, you know. There's more people out there. We can reach more people in Belize, even out of Belize. Dwayne Moody for News 5.